for Mike Brown and the Cavaliers here tonight. So the Knicks look to keep the winning streak alive, look to keep charging after the Atlanta Hawks for the eighth and final playoff spot. The sellout crowd tonight in the garden for the Knicks and the Cavs here on MSG. Strong defensive unit. The Cavs have struggled defensively, including last night when they gave up 39 points in the first quarter. Last night, Clyde, the Cavs were down 17 to 4. Mike Brown was annoyed, and as Jared Jack, nice run, and he took out some starters. But they also shot 50% from the field against the Rockets, and they had 33 assists. Waiters gets it to go. It's a one-point game. So take that to the bank for JR. Oh, Jack gets away. I think he was trying to decide between shooting and passing as Jack hits that one, and it's a one-point game again. Oh, he's around for the Garden of Dreams to help him with that as well as his own foundation. Jack got away with a travel and gets it into Hawes. It takes time to get that, especially in the backcourt. Well, this year was a year as Hawes sets up and hits a three. Final minute in what has been a terrific offensive first half. 60% shooting overall. Waiter spots up. He was all alone. Smith throws it to no one. Here comes Waiter in a hurry. Knicks do not get back. And a poor start to the third quarter has the Cavs within eight. Value. Thompson gets inside, throws it down, and it's a 9 0 run. You know, we, we talk about during the streak as Jack drives. Jack's layup is good. Difficult slaughter there. No longer the Swiss cheese deal. But there it is again. Go to uh, Stoudemire. And Waiters and Dane, they've been relentless tonight. Jack left open and hits another one. No fouls to give for the Knicks. Jack's duping. Boy, that's a pretty <laughs> close <laughs> over. Jack. Jack. Jack has looked terrific. G with two Knicks on him. Zeller, there you see him back in the game. Cavaliers are real disciplined now. Jack flips it up for Jack has had his way. Jack drives and finishes Jack. Jack makes it a two-point game, the closest they've been since late in the first quarter. Jack has what he wanted. He has the mismatch. Shoots over Chandler, knocks it down. Tie game. Pull up, contested shot, too strong. Fight for the rebound. Still loose. Felton block gets it back, and they're going to call a jump ball. A basketball count. And who was there? Jack, right in Felton's face to tie him up. Team to take it off. Dang left open. Hits a three, and the Cavs with their first lead since the opening minutes. The way they started, a perfect first half. Jack, everything going. Knocks it down again. Jared Jack with 27. We mentioned shooting is all about rhythm. The Knicks have none now. He's 0 for 4 in the period. They've mostly contested. Bears out down the lane, and Mike Woodson needs a timeout. As the Knicks now trail by six with 2.37 remaining. And the Cavaliers uh, just doing what they want to do right now. Jack again, pull up, two-pointer. It's good, Jack, Jack, unstoppable here in the second half. And Mike Woodson calls another timeout. And the Knicks are down to one remaining. There's the lead back to six with 145, a season high 29 for Jared Jack. Chandler telling Felton to force him right. Easier said than done. Jack does go right. Jack pull up, jump shot, knocks it down again. With 24.7 remaining, an incredible performance from Jared Jack. A season high, 31 points. And Jack this time didn't want to pick and roll. He knew the Knicks were going to double and triple him. Watch it. So he goes one-on-one -on -one with Raymond. Stopping and popping from 12 feet away. Six-point lead for the Cavs. Smith. Launches a three, way off the mark. Rebound goes to Jack, and that'll do it. A terrible loss tonight for the Knicks, and a critical, crucial game. That is a damaging blow to their playoff hopes. Now with 12 games left, the Knicks are four back once again in the loss column.